Hello, so this is our next step in organizing all our geometry work digitally. So you can think of this website as a digital portfolio. So at this point, you have reflected here in full sentences and a paragraph here. Uh, you have included a picture or a real life problem that you've solved here, and you've included something that you've where you get your most work or a quiet space that um, you have found for yourself during this whole uh, social distancing um, situation that we're in. So the next step that's gonna finish our work on this website is all of you have created a triangle pileup uh, performance task for yourself. So on the top, you'll notice that there's a few tabs there is a home, which is just the basic home page. Then there's a what is going on with this graph. This, at, by the end of the year, we're going to include at least two of the questions that we ask on our Google Classroom as like a warm up mathematical thinking. And we're going to ask you to share the at least two that really spoke to you, like a screenshot of that graph and your responses there to those three questions. Remember, all questions should be answered in full sentences fully. Um, you don't have to go and create a whole page on this thing, but it should be a well-written paragraph. Uh, you're going to include those pictures in here and um, reflect on how they exemplified one or multiple of these bacon 10 skills that that are one of our core values in our our school but for all graduates but for right now uh we're going to go to this right triangles page here and you'll notice this is where you're going to submit your finalized triangle pileup performance task you're going to include pictures and a copy of your answer key right in here. Uh, so you'll notice that I put in our Google document here, uh, and then I put in those reflection questions that you've already answered. You just answered them in a Google form. Now we're asking you to type these out in full sentences uh, on how you created your design. Um, did you start with a goal? or did you start with creating the triangles, that sort of thing. So we're looking for an actual authentic reflection on this task, uh, hitting these th four questions. And you can answer them one by one, or you can just answer them as a narrative as you are typing this up. But what you're going to do is you're gonna insert pictures of this task in here. So the first thing that you're going to do is you can click on this triangle pile of project here and you can go over and you can delete this. So it gets rid of it. Now, what you're going to do is we are going to go to images and you can upload or you can select. Now, if you upload them, it means that you need to have images on your computer that of your your task so it looks for files that are on your computer um, if you select then these are uh, images that you're searching for from the web or what i'm advising you to do is to get either google photos or google drive on your phone and you can just simply download that that file and you'll notice that i have lots of pictures here this is my son's art project here uh and i have my google drive linked to my phone so i can put specific images into this and then let's say i want to insert this into my website now i can click my google drive i sign in just as normal on my phone. I put some pictures in there. I then can, the they'll automatically upload. I can click that art and I can click insert. Now, what it'll do is it'll, it'll come in kind of small. 
I can grab each corner and make it bigger. Okay. Um, I can fit it to however I want. I can even, you know, grab this and move it up above, right? So if I want it right underneath, there you go. You get a nice big shot of uh, my son's uh, rainbow color that he did. If you if you go to this palette here, section background, you can change any of these background images or anything like that. Um, you can copy it, that sort of thing. So all of this it is meant for you to compile all of your work, put it in one place, and put your reflection there so that anyone that has access to your website can see your work, your solution, and your reflection. And you're going to keep this EE portfolio, and this is going to be part of this final performance task that you're going to uh, need to turn in by the end of this year. Please let us know if you have any questions. Again, with a website, when you do this, you have to click publish. When you click publish, you'll see your draft and you'll see the original. So when you click publish here, it will take this draft and it'll make it live so that we can actually see your work. So when you do that, when you click publish, then you're going to take and you can go to preview and you see that this is the preview of this page. And, that, and that's what we really need you guys to be able to see is look at this and look how it looks on a website. And does it look correct? Should I move things in certain areas? That sort of thing. Uh, and then when you are final, you know, again, go up, copy this published link, okay, and submit it on Google Classroom. Thank you very much. Let us know if you have any questions.